Hello and welcome back to the Halo Forge Epidemic. I'm Master Debates and in this video I will be going over the final part of the scripting tutorial known as the triggers. So again, if you go back to the Forge menu and you go to scripting, you will see that the last item is called triggers. So there are actually a lot more of the triggers than there are of the other scripting items. Now if you want to think of a better way of understanding what triggers actually are and what they do, like I said in the previous video, you would think of the switches as the manual scripting items and that players have to go ahead and activate them. The timers are automatic scripting items because they don't require player activation and they will automatically be triggered by the set duration in Forge. Now these trigger scripting items are actually proximity driven. And what I mean by that is when I go ahead and spawn a trigger item here, you'll see that it's a zone. So basically the way you have to activate a trigger is you'll actually have to walk into the zone. Um, so if you're actually going to go ahead and use a trigger item on a map, um, I highly recommend that you actually go ahead and uh, actually define the zone um, that you want the trigger activated. Um, actually, as you're about to see later on in the video using the demo map, I actually used uh, tin cups in the ground to basically signify where the zone was located that you had to step in in order to activate the trigger. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go over all of the trigger items. Okay, so first we have trigger on, enter on. Now that can sound a little bit complicated, um, but basically what the trigger on, enter on does is when you enter the trigger zone, and I, I mean when you enter it, like when you physically walk into the zone, it'll activate the object and that's it. That's all it does. Uh, trigger on, enter off does the opposite. When you enter a zone, it'll turn the object off. So just walk into the zone, the object will turn off. Simple as that. Trigger on enter toggle basically combines the on and off into one trigger. If the object is turned off and you walk into the zone, the object turns on. If the object is turned on and you walk into the zone, the object turns off. And that's what toggle does. Now trigger on exit actually works exactly as it sounds. You enter the zone at first and upon exiting the zone, it activates the trigger. So on exit on, you enter the zone. As you leave the zone, it turns the object on. On exit off, you enter the zone. And as you leave the zone, it turns the object off. Now on exit toggle, you'll enter the zone. And if the object is already off, it'll turn on. And if the object is already on, it'll just turn off. Now the next kind and the last kind of trigger that I'm going to go over in the video is trigger on stay. So basically the way these triggers work is in order for them to be activated, you have to stay inside of the designated zone. The second you leave the zone, it turns off. So the first is trigger on stay on. And basically that means as long as you stay inside of the zone, the object will be activated. Uh, trigger on stay off, uh, assuming the object is already activated. If you're staying inside of the zone, the object will be deactivated as long as you're inside of the zone. Trigger on stay toggle basically combines on and off into one. If the object is already off, when you're in the zone, it'll stay on until you leave, then it'll turn back off. And vice versa, if the object is already on and you enter the zone, it'll stay off. And once you leave the zone again, it'll turn back on. The last trigger item is trigger on destroyed. And I went over that in the first video. It's basically that little orange column. Once you shoot it, it fades back to a darker color and it can be used to trigger like an on switch and spawn stuff. So going back to the demo map, I actually have a couple of examples of these trigger items in Forge. Uh, so the first one I have, uh, and you really can't see here in the video because of the lighting, is a trigger on exit toggle. And it is linked right now to channel 18. And that's all you have to do. Just set the broadcast channel to anything other than negative one. Uh, this light over here, a green light, if you go to the scripting items, is also set to a broadcast channel of 18. So with the broadcast channels matching and the zone marked by the tin cup, basically the way it works is that I'll step inside of the zone and since it's an exit zone, nothing happens. But once I leave the exit zone, the light turns off. Now this is a toggle exit zone, so I can step back inside, nothing happens, and I exit again and it turns back on. And that's just a sort of basic idea of what you can do with a toggle exit switch. Now this one 
actually I'm gonna save this one for later I'm gonna show you exactly why uh, this one over here is the on stay toggle basically what this one does is as I said before as you enter the zone it will invoke the opposite state that's already activated in the object so right now I have a light that's on and the, the broadcast channel is 15 uh, if you go to this light above it's also set to 15 uh, so now notice by default this light is turned on so as you enter the zone the light actually goes away and right when I leave the zone it flashes back on again now this one actually I believe does the same thing right it does so the object is actually toggled off right now um, it's set to currently broadcast channel 17 and this is also on stay toggle set to 17. Now if I want actually this uh, to do the opposite of this one where um, it's turned off and it'll turn on, I have to uh, by some or uh, sort of means previously activate this. So what I'm going to do to actually do that is go ahead into the scripting, go to trigger, uh, go to on enter toggle, I'm going to go ahead and set that down there. And I'm going to go ahead and set this to channel 18. And basically what that'll do is when I enter this zone. Oh, do I have the channel wrong? I think this is actually, is it 17 or 18? Oh, this is 17. Okay. My mistake. Uh, so if I actually go ahead and set this to 17, and then I go ahead and enter the zone as a Spartan, the light turns off. And so basically, if you basically want to do the opposite of that, um, by default, the objects, uh, the lights will actually be emitting light. Um, and again, if you, by some sort of third party means, if you want them to be off by default and do the opposite, you have to uh, use another trigger zone. Uh, basically, what I would do if you're like trying to do an infection map, like where you walk through the hallway and when you go under the light, it emits light. Um, right when the humans spawn in the initial zone, I would have them spawn inside of a trigger on enter. Uh, that way you'd spawn into the map and this would be previously activated. Um, that, that similar concept of automatically activating a zone when you enter the map also applies. Um, if you remember in the first video, um, actually coming back to here, uh, we had a bridge that by default doesn't spawn at start. And once you hit this switch, it'll actually cause the bridge to spawn. Doing the opposite, having a bridge that automatically starts in the map and despawns when you push the switch isn't possible unless you do this thing with the triggers. Um, for some reason, if you go to the bridge and go to advance and you have place a start set to true, you can't toggle the bridge to despawn on and off. For whatever reason, the way 343 designed this, it has to be set to place at start false. So the way to get around that basically, uh, right now you see there's a switch toggle attached to this and if I go to scripting it's set to 16. Uh, the bridge is also set to 16 on the spawn channel and uh, of course can despawn is set to true so we can turn it on and off. In order to get this to appear at the beginning of the game as compared to this one, if you actually go to the spawn here of the map, um, I have an on enter, yep right here for broadcast channel 16 that encompasses the spawn area basically. So once someone spawns into the map, this will also spawn into the map. And then, you know, you can just toggle it on and off from the beginning. I can't do it in Forge, I can only do it in custom games, but you pretty much have to do something like that in order to get that to work. Um, and now here's actually a very practical application of the stay on toggle. Uh, so I'm sure many of you guys have been to large department stores like Walmart or Target or whatever. And you know, like right when you enter the store, um, you know how the doors automatically slide open for you and close behind you. You can actually do that with the triggers. Uh, so right now the tin cup is actually the uh, zone marked for this on toggle. Uh, the on to on stay toggle is actually set to channel 22. And as you can see here, I have two garage doors set horizontally, and each of these channels are also set to 22, and they're equidistant from the center. So basically, when I try to open the door, they part open as long as I stay in the tin cup zone. And right when I leave the zone, they close back up again. 
So honestly, when I first did this, um, this actually is pretty much what motivated me to make the scripting tutorials. Because, I mean, this this kind of stuff is just cool. I mean, you could you could technically do this with an elevator too, where you have a stay toggle zone. Where, um, let, let's say for example, you have a garage door set vertically, and you have like a crate on top of it or something. And when you stay on top of the crate in the zone, it'll push the gate up. And then right when you leave the elevator, it'll sink back down. So this, the stay toggle ons honestly just fascinate the hell out of me. Because you can do so much with them. Um, and guys, as you can actually uh, see in the video, uh, I do have a demo map set up for you guys to actually uh, look at. To see all the different kinds of things you can do with the scripting. Um, but unfortunately, so far... The uh, files browser really doesn't work yet. You really can't download maps from file shares. Um, so we'll post an update once we get that up and running and we'll probably feature the demo map honestly, um, just so you guys can actually download it and take a look at the different kinds of things you can do with the scripting. Anyway guys, thanks for watching the final scripting tutorial video on triggers. If you guys have any sort of specific questions, uh, feel free to leave them below in the comments or go ahead to halocustoms.com and look for my profile on there. I'm one of the admins, Master Debates, uh, spelled D-E-B-A-Y-T-E-S, not the standard spelling. Um, and I will go ahead and answer as many questions as I can. Um, if I actually get a ton of questions, I might go ahead and make uh, future scripting videos that will address specific questions. Um, but until then, this has been Master Debates, and thanks for watching.